What is going on guys, Judo Sloth here and welcome to today's Clash of Clans video. We are focusing on two of the best Town Hall 10 attack strategies for the 3 stars. There's a ton of them right now guys, the Town Hall 10 3 star attacks are coming in like wildfire. If you find this one helpful, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more Clash of Clans. All of these attacks from Elite Gaming and our CWL placement match against Forbidden manage do pull out the victory if you want to join us make sure to check out the clan description everything you need is on the screen there right now but getting into this first lava loon attack we have three lava loon attacks for you on display and then two bow witch attacks thought we'd give the hog riders a mystic day guys but we did have plenty of other town hall 10 three star hog rider attacks this first one then coming in for the archer queen it's always a popular target to come in and try and take that archer queen down as your first key objective if you can do that guys then make sure you do on this one not too much point defense up to the north able to sneak in take out that archer queen and then it depends on the CC a golem is not going to do anything to our lava loon but that wizard might do some splash damage to our balloon so JMO here pulls it off to the side with a baby dragon and he's very nicely going to be able to take that out then goes ahead and deploys that lava loon portion now the Update in the meta here, you are going to see plenty of single target infernos. Your lava hounds are not going to survive as long, guys. But the way you counter that is getting them balloons on top and in massive forms. You can see how many balloons are just flying forward here with them haste spells just covering the entire base. What you might find is you struggle to have a lava hound push right the way across for that second inferno tower. If you have enough balloons, it really isn't going to be an issue. However, similar to the hog attacks you might want to take a skeleton spell just to distract it more than anything else and then your balloons have time to get over the top take it down and as you will see here pulling out the golem within a single archer right to the side so the balloons can finish off the defenses and the lava pups and minions can go ahead and perform the cleanup phase this golem looking the wrong way really not sure what was going to happen there but um i knew it was going to be a victory and a three star attack for the Lava Loon. Let's get into the next one then guys. You will see some differences in these base designs again for that one. By the way, six pack here for JMO. Give it up for JMO in the comments. You will see for this base the Queen is kind of pushed off to the right hand side. A bit more point defense kind of pushed out to the side for this one though. So JMO decides to come at this with a different angle. Again, the Archer Queen is is a primary focus but it's not the only thing you have to consider you can take her out as the attack is going on so let's check out this one couple of test wall breakers there just made sure that their main group of wall breakers could get in in order to just make sure there wasn't any spring traps or bombs queen's ability is pressed to try and help her through that single target area we've taken out a bunch of archer towers in the south here made quite a little bit of a path for the lava loon portion which we are going to push in from over on the northwest here and notice how the haste spells are already in we're already planning to get them balloons in as fast as we can over the top of the lava hounds over the top of that single target inferno to try and take it down as fast as possible Notice how we have many coming from the north as well. That's very important that these uh, balloons come in from the north at the same time as the ones over on the west. It means that these ones that are traveling straight towards that air sweeper, straight towards the single target inferno, don't have to go up north. They can continue going. We've missed the kill of the queen, but basically that skeleton spell is going to take it down when it is under that rage spell as well. You just have to make sure you can take note of where the archer queen is, make sure she doesn't jump into a different compartment and you are good to go guys balloons going to finish off the rest of the defenses here only a tesla at the top that can do any damage lava pups continuing to chip away at that king and again guys if done correctly you will most likely not run out of time with the lava loon you'd have to lose a lot of balloons but if you can get them haste spells in to push the balloons forward i mean don't spend forever on your initial push but the balloons don't take long to wreck the defenses then you will see here i mean this single balloon has a bit of sense decides to start heading up to that builder's hut but it's not going to matter the uh, minions and lava pups are going to catch up overtake and get that three star attack massive congrats to jmo 
more six pack in this war not an uncommon thing either and uh, let's move on to one more lava loon attack before we check out them two bow witch attacks so you'll see from this one a little bit of a different uh, base design in that of the single target inferno is pushed away whereas before they were right in the center of the base starting out here with a little bit of a funnel in terms of that wizard very easily able to take off them two builders huts and then you can see that his push from the south here is going to be very easy to funnel nice couple of wall breakers for the queen to get access right into this little pocket remember you don't have to directly get to where the archer queen is she will kind of jump over walls and things as well and you can make that push in order to try and take them down however you don't always get everything that you want would have been very nice to take the archer queen down here but again we have that skeleton spell in our arsenal heading straight for the single target inferno on this one notice how the lava hound out of range a very nice touch for this attack the balloons are going to be able to take that down before the lava hound gets within its range so we don't have to worry as much about distracting that final inferno tower we have a couple of lava hounds still left up the skeleton spell is going to have to be used for the queen same combination guys you need a rage spell to help power that skeleton spell onto the queen take her down a lonely wizard there not really able to help much either but the lava pups the skeletons underneath that rage i mean the rage is helping the balloons as well but they are going to take that archer queen down the damage from the balloons is going to help out as well and again guys the same principles of really the haste spells the placement across the map to really power them balloons through as quickly as possible is the most important thing and I, again clockwork really in terms of the minions and lava pubs cleaning up so that is the lava loon attack for you let's move on to the bow witch attack then we will indeed wrap up this video so moving up to base number 19 here big john pulling out the three star on this one i've said it before guys in my videos the bow witch attack used to work prior to the meta change even against multi infernos you could pull off them three star attacks so with the single it just makes it ever so more achievable again it's the same kind of attack it's all what we talked about yesterday in my town hall 10 v 11 video in terms of base recognition how many bases can you do this hit it with this strategy doesn't matter what base strength it is really the queen is going to be safe over in this area hitting the queen walk there's no air defense to touch her around this other side we send a bow witch combination to help with the funnel and keep our main group of bowlers pushing through the middle again the single target inferno is not going to do much you can take a heal spell if you have the multi because it's definitely going to help i'd recommend one anyway you will see though that if any of you guys have watched my bow witch guide we recommend a golem in the cc i would change that now guys depending on the base layout if it is a single target inferno you're going to hit first take giants instead seven giants in order to distract instead of just frying your golem straight up again the the ball is in the middle here don't necessarily have to take out all of the defenses as long as they take out the bulk of them and the archer queen with them healers can reach the ones on the back end then it's a success the bowlers have done their jobs on this one they even bust out and help that queen as well steal her healers while they are at it but it really is not going to matter the archer queen still has the ability again lava pup is going to distract the queen at the end when it's too late everyone always asks why lava hounds in the cc it's purely to try and distract that queen just take the poison spells if it's anything else guys you will be able to take that down they won't keep up with your bowlers raged through the middle one more attack then this one by you've seen it before it's a bow witch attack hat on we have the uh we have the number incorrect here so we're gonna have to go down the list until i find it this is how many three stars we had guys a lot of these hog riders but there we are we are on to just got my calculations incorrect when jotting that down but anyway saving the best to last tt here gonna smash this the master of the bow witch attack very nice again he does this a lot of the time guys and you really need to just 
scout the base beforehand? Are there any buildings you can pick off beforehand with minions to help control your attack? He's helping his funnel here whilst picking off free percentage. It's a no brainer guys, you want to do it. The queen is obviously now going to just walk straight forward as the minions continue to pick that off. And you can see as the bowlers and witches come in, we've already created the path that she is going to take. There's no way she's walking down to the south. The bowlers are wrecking that. The minions have done a fantastic job. So she's actually going to step up, take out them point defense. And again, fantastic stuff. Here we are, guys. Not a lava hound in the CC. It's that baby dragon, witch, and with whatever combination. They, they kind of put different ones in there to mess you up. But basically, they're not going to keep up with your bowlers. Put that rage spell in. Put that heal spell in. Poison spell on top of them. They're gone. They haven't done anything. Again, queen, very nice on this other left side over on the left here. No air defense to take her down. The bowlers and witches, I mean, you want to look again. TT has said himself, look for areas of the base where there's no splash damage for the other side the bowler and witch combination and the bowlers blasting through the middle again getting out on this one but had they not this still would have been over it still would have been a three star attack the queen would have very easily finished off these final defenses but that wraps it up for this one guys a few very impressive town hall 10 three star attacks here from elite gaming and make sure to stick around for the cwl season itself when it kicks off well, I'm sure you'll see plenty more three-star attacks at Town Hall 10 here. That wraps it up for this one. I've been your host, Judo Sloth, and until next time, peace out, guys.